syringe one, also known as NE1000 syringe pump basic setup. Identification of parts, front, keypad, LCD display, LEDs, syringe pump mechanism, end plate, pressure block, anti-siphon bracket, thumb screw for anti-siphon bracket, two guide rods, drive screw, collar clamp, syringe flange retainer bracket, two thumb screws, syringe holder clamp, syringe holder block. Identification of parts back. Power on off switch. Power supply connections. Remote connections. TTL logic interface. RS-232 computer connections. This is for the PC. This is for the network. This is the model information, model number, serial number. This is the drive nut block for removing the pusher block. This is the Allen wrench for moving the collar clamp. Installing the foot switch. Make sure that the foot switch connector is lined up. Ensure that the long edge of the top is lined up with the long edge of the connection. Insert into the back of the pump. Tighten with the two thumb screws. By default, the pump is configured for foot switch mode. The foot switch is ready to go. Any 1000 basic setup. Begin by plugging in your power supply to the wall power or a power strip. If you are using a power strip, make sure the power strip is turned on. Plug your power supply into the round connector at the back of the pump. And then turn on the pump by pressing the switch. You will hear a beep. That means the pump's power is turned on. The display will be blinking and the LEDs will be lit. Press any key to stop the display from blinking. Any 1000 loading the syringe. Begin by pushing the pusher block back by pushing in the white nut block to release the pusher block. Loosen the flange by turning the two thumb screws. Lift the syringe clamp and turn it out of the way. If the collar clamp is tight, you can loosen it by taking the Allen wrench out of the tool holder here. Loosen the screw here and then return the Allen wrench to the tool holder. Load the syringe. Make sure the flange of the syringe is inside the brackets. Move the pusher block as needed to load the syringe. Lift the syringe clamp to hold down the syringe. To tighten the flange, hold the flange against the syringe while turning the thumb screws. Secure the pusher flange in the anti-siphon holder by turning the screw on the block counterclockwise. NE1000 programming the pump. To program the pump, first enter the syringe diameter. Press a diameter key. You will display the currently selected diameter, 14.43 millimeters. This is the factory default. 
To change, use the up arrow keys to increment individual digits above each key. To set the decimal point, simultaneously press the two up arrow keys under where you want the decimal point to be. Press again to clear the decimal point. The syringe loaded has a diameter of 29.2. You can find this information in the user manual. Press and hold the key to quickly increment the digits. When entered, the display will blink and the LED will stop blinking. Any 1000 set the rate of infusion. To set the rate of infusion, press the rate key. The currently stored rate is 10 ml per hour. To change the units of the flow rate, press the rate key again and display will show UNTS while the LED units will be blinking. Use any up arrow key to change the units. That's ml per hour, microliters per hour, ml per minute, ml per hour. Any 1000 set the flow rate. Now we can enter in the flow rate. Use the up arrow keys to set the digits below each number. To change the decimal point, simultaneously press both up arrow keys under where you want the decimal point to be. This is 75 ml per hour. Display blinks. It's entered. Now you can start running the pump. NE1000 connect and purge tubing. Connect your tubing to the syringe. Begin by purging the syringe. Make sure your direction is set for infusion. Press and hold the start key until you see PURG in the display. The push up block will move. Once filled, remove your finger from the start key. Any 1000 Start Pump Program. To start your pumping program, simply press release the start key. Now the pump is pumping. The pump will continue to pump continuously until you stop the pump. To withdraw, change the pump direction using the direction key. Press the start key. The syringe is retracting and it's pulling from the syringe. Blinking LED means the pump was paused. Now we're set for infusion again. To automatically stop the pump at a specific dispense volume, Set a volume target using the volume key. This is the volume being dispensed. This is the currently set volume target. Off means continuous. Use the up arrow keys to set a volume target. If you want to change the units for volume accumulation and target from ML to microliters, display the volume dispense. Reset the volume dispense to zero. Hold any up arrow key to reset the volume target to zero. Press the up arrow keys again. You will see displayed UNTS and the unit's LEDs blinking. You could change between microliters and milliliters. Once it stops blinking, the volume target units are set. Press Start. When the set volume target is dispensed, the pump will stop pumping. 